The medical advice has been clear for decades. To reduce your risk of cancer and other diseases, don't smoke. And if you do, quit. On average, smoking takes about 10 years off a person's lifespan. The previous research has shown that people who quit before their early 40s can get about nine of those years back. Now, scientists at the University College London have discovered why. We were basically really interested in what smoking damage there was in what we would think were normal cells of the airways down into the lung. Over time, the chemicals in tobacco smoke mutate lung cells, slowly changing them from healthy to cancerous. And while it's been thought those changes were permanent, researchers found that after a smoker quits, their surviving healthy lung cells can regenerate, replacing the damaged cells. We think what's happening is that there are some cells in our lungs that are sort of perhaps hidden away or somehow resistant to smoke damage. And then when you stop smoking, for some reason, they become sort of more powerful and they therefore start growing and expanding and pushing out the smoking damaged cells. Researchers found that after about a decade, the lungs of ex-smokers looked similar to those who had never smoked. Bob Sumner kicked a pack-a-day habit 10 years ago. Overall, like I'm going to be 61 next month and I feel so healthy. I've been, I was one of the lucky ones. My lungs have actually recovered to the point where I can go bust a spin class and I actually teach spin sometimes. Knowing how lung cells regenerate could also one day lead to new therapies. If we can go to stop smoking, then we could perhaps give them a drug or an inhaler or something to help these cells grow out and therefore protect them from actually developing cancer in the first place. Giving even long-time smokers a new reason to quit. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.